Artistic license, maybe you've heard of it. Oh, and might I mention that after I got the Grail, I got like six different marriage proposals from princesses. And they were all total smoke shows, of course. Turned them down, though. Left the Grail there, too. I don't know if the girls or the Grails. I'm just in it for the glory. To hear my deeds echoed in bardic song for all eternity. Well, I've never heard any bards mention you, but I've heard you echo your deeds for the last five minutes. And it's already about five minutes too long. <laughs> fine. But only because my voice is getting tired. And I need it fresh for the story of how I outwitted the Draco Sphinx in a game of chance. Whatever. Goodest of morrows, your kingship. I come bearing this summons. So, do you need to grab a coat or, uh... You dare to enter my court and issue a summons to me, King Archer, master of this realm and lord of these wooded halls? Very well. Whatsoever your quest may be, I accept. But we are in court, so I would hear your summons before departing. We must observe the formalities here. I, Sir Claptrap, hereby summon King Archie, first of his dumb name. For though his weak, noodly arms pale in comparison to mine arms of steel, I need him to get off his pampered butt to pull extra caliber out of this rock so he can give it to me. And summons! <laughs> Good one. Uh, wait. Us. I've heard enough. Kill them! Look at the I could go on at great length about all the ways I hate them. In fact, I will. Reason one. They take everything personally. Wait, is this thing still on? Eh, probably not. Anyway, like I was saying, kings are always a bunch of thin-skinned whiners who can't take criticism. Reason numero two. They're pussy. This the last time a king said, please. It's always, the king commands you to do this, or by order of the king, that. Reason the third. This was really just about King Archie, but have you ever noticed he kind of smells weird? Like, all the time? Next time you're around him, lean in real close. Well, great! The king is dead! Does that mean you're king? Probably not. Anywho, the legend says we just need a hand, so grab what's left of the king and come on back! Adventure!
I'd bet you guineas to goose feathers it's got at least one apostrophe and more vowels than it needs. Yeah, fine. Mervyn is I, Sir Claptrap, mightiest of heroes. I come bearing extra caliber. So open up. Enter. That worked? Huh. Now that's more like it. Finally, the respect I deserve. Another seeking the holy spell nade, eh? If you can best my apprentices, you will prove you are deserving of its power. Squire, defend your master! Please, my darling! I think that's quite enough out of you. Fucking cast again! At last, one worthy of the holy spell nade. You are strong, yes, but only one possessed of true wisdom is fit to wield its great and terrible power. You must solve my puzzle or perish. If you would hold destruction in thy hand, you must see through trickery to tell friend from a foe. Approach the real Mervyn, and the holy spell Nade is yours. Oh, easy! I know this one! Pick that one standing over there! Just look at him standing all smug! He's definitely hiding something! The power of extra caliber, even saving my totally hapless squire, is a triviality. Time to extra calibrate a way out of there. What? You're back? Most tenacious. No matter, I suppose if you can get it right on the second try, that's not so terrible. And I'll still let you have the holy spell made. But no cheating. Of course, what I meant was that guy over there. He's the one. I can feel it in my chassis. and you still got it wrong. It's clear you're not fit to wield the awesome power of the holy spell Nade. Now you must pay the price for your failure.
like stats and doesn't really go with my build. So I'm just gonna kill Mervin a bunch later until I get a good one. But you have fun with that. Teeth here! Bring your teeth here! You got teeth here? I've got coins! My, my, what pretty teeth you have. If you're willing to spare a few, I'll pay top dollar for them. What do you say? Wanna help the tooth fairy out? <laughs> How negotiable are your terms? Do the teeth have to be mine? Strictly speaking, yes. But, uh, let's just say if you, uh, Drop teeth into my collection's chest. <laughs> I won't ask questions. All we need to do is collect teeth? Sounds like some easy money to me. <laughs> sure, but where are we gonna get a bunch of teeth? Come on, girl. What's got lots of teeth but never eats? Skellymans! Now get that ivory payday! Ooh, yeah! For some extra funsies, hit those suckers right in the mouth to get a whole fountain of teeth! We've got an easy mark over here. You knock the skelly men teeth right out of their mouths, and they fall to the ground, and they're all covered in yellow plaque and gunk. Aren't there more dignified ways to make money? There's certainly less dignified ways. Need I remind everyone about the time you smothered yourself in raspberry jam and... No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, that sounds, uh, sticky. <laughs> Bring that kind of energy to the game, Valentine! No shame in losing to the best. Hey, look at you go. You're a natural. I wonder, uh, would you be willing to uh, chase down a few more? I mean, it would really help me out. And uh, you see, I, I've got this quota, and uh, I'm way behind. Teeth for money, money for teeth. It's a weird exchange. What do you do with the teeth? Oh, you know, uh, uh, normal fairy stuff. Uh, whisper them into the uh, uh, fanciful dreams of children and whatnot. Uh, mm -hmm. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Anyone else notice he was kind of evasive? We're doing the good heroic thing here, Valentine. And you know what they say, a fairy in need is a friend indeed. Don't pretend you're not just in this for the sweet payday at the end. What? Adventuring isn't free. Hey, you're like a dentist. I mean, I think so. I've, I've never really been. Ooh, savage face wrecking girl.
grocery run for this guy. Skeleton teeth, goblin teeth, it's a very specific yeah. list of teeth. It's pretty suspicious is all I'm saying. Hey! It's called questing, not questioning! Eh, fine. Sorry for being engaged in the narrative. Sheesh. Your apology is accepted. Absolutely not. You sassy me? I... Yes? All right, listen. I'm drawing the line, okay? Are we really going all the way to the ocean just to fight sea wargs? And what's next? Colossal-jawed bull snakes of the heck realm? Where will it end? Let's just talk to this guy and wrap it up. Fine! You know what? Fine! You want to be the bunker master and wreck my flow, Valentine? It's cool. Just forget the sea wargs. The Tooth Fairy summons you back to deliver your pearly bounty. Ah, it's all right. Just bring me what you've got. Orangey oh, got nothing on you. Die. 
Show me your grill. Every smile's a winner. I have notes on your sales pitch. We're going to workshop that. But first, here's all the teeth you requested. The Seawork teeth, though, would have really kicked things up a notch. But I'll make do. Really earning those hero hours, aren't you? I've always wondered, since a few minutes ago when I met you, why are you so crazy about teeth? You know, it is so heartening to meet an adventurer who's curious about local culture. <laughs> if you place the teeth in my chest, you'll see for yourself. We're about to be rich! I can feel it! So, now, children, for the magic word. <laughs> If you're ready for your reward, reopen the chest and discover what treasures lie in wait. <laughs> so excited! The big reveal! Fools! You fell for the classic dog wizard pretending to be a tooth fairy who really just wanted to summon a mimic scam! And the tooth fairy is even <laughs> Save it for a rainy day. So you're playing the long game, huh? Yep. Picked it up from a guy I know. Pretended he was a tooth fairy to dupe money-hungry adventurers into a trap of their own making. Yeah, well, at least now we know where the mimics come from. I like you guys. You're fun. bad way because of this wicked awful virus running roughshod on us. We're on the brink of extinction. We need some kind of heroic type to help us out. If that's you, Hoss, come on down to our refugee camp and speak to my wife, Queen. Oh! 
But if you'd lend us your aid, go talk to old Murph. Now, if you'll kindly excuse me, stranger, I have to address the troops. Now, look alive, you Murphs. This here mission we're setting out upon is a Murph in danger and then some. That wicked old whiz card done Murph napped our kinsman, and I aims to reclaim him. Let's move. As you command, my White Queen. We'll defend you to the death, White Queen. And keep your Murph and Peepers peeled for them infected. Ain't aiming to get eight today. We're still alive. And that means there's always hope that things can get better. We're all gonna die, though. But whatever. Life is meaningless anyway. Aw, now turn that ground upside down, friend. You need to work on your positive thinking! Okay, I'm positive we're all gonna die. I'm so scared. What are we gonna do? This will be the end of us. Mark my words! Howdy do there, hoss. Got the look of a tough as Murph fighter, don't you? Well, that's a sight for these old eyes. Cause we got us sailors a whole heap and helping a Murph in trouble around these parts. And all our fighters are off at the forward operating camp trying to take back our village. Do you hear to them blue ones? Nope. Why are they blue? Are they sad? They used to be our kinfolk, but they've been infected with something. Old oh, Murph, these, these coming. Said all the Murph and Murph. Reckon you're about to see for yourself. Take cover, y'all. Them blue ones is a coming. You know what they say about idle hands. Stop! Stop! Whoa! Stop! It's a murph and shame to kill kinfolk like that. But there's no cure for the blue rage, far as we know. College Murph was working on one before he got murph napped by that whiz card gargle snot. Speaking of which, Murfetta was trying to rescue that smarty pants. She should have checked in by now. Could you go make sure my wife Queen's all right? I's got to see to the other Murphs around camp, make sure ain't no one got bit. Be careful out there, stranger. Gargle's not so wily one. Not to be trusted. If anyone's hearing this, I'm in trouble. Gargle's not killed my queen's guard, and now he's... <sighs> Nope. Um, um, everything's fine. We're, we're all fine here. Uh, we're just, uh, uh having tea and uh, talking about our feelings. Go, then, baby! You can't catch 
catch me? I'm the Mushroom Man! I run through the forest as fast as I can! Picking and snatching delicious shrooms! Got to be quick or it spells your doom! But I'm very nimble. I'll never get eaten! Oh, there's a juicy mushroom. I'll just... Ah! Ah! No! Teeth! Teeth! Was supposed to destroy the maps, not become their wife queen. What are you even yapping about? Don't you see? I created you. I am your father. That's not true. It's Murph and impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be blue. I mean, true. Damn it. Shut up. I almost don't want to kill the rest of you. <laughs> tell everyone how impressive I am. Oh, right, I will. Carry on. Hello? Is there an individual for four in the vicinity? I can do with the timely rescue. You have my gratitude. Attention, stupid little Murphs. If you want to save your beloved wife, please come to the village. <laughs> I do not like the sound of that ominous chuckle. This is most upsetting. Listen, stranger, Gargle Snot was forcing me to help him with his experiments. I, I had no choice, but I did discover the truth. Gargle Snot created the Blue Rage virus. It's all part of his grand plan to wipe out the Murphs for good. And I also learned that there is no cure. Our infected brethren are forever lost to us. All we can do now is give them the peace of death. I need you to do something for me. Take this recipe and gather the ingredients around the forest. Oh, and Murphs, 
You might want to hurry, or Murfetta could be a bit more blue than you remember. <laughs> that Murph licking Murph Murfer. College Murph, please tell me you got a plan to save our wife queen. I do indeed. I've sent the heroic looking stranger to gather supplies for Garble Snot's mushroom enhancement potion. If my theory proves accurate, that should aid us in bypassing the barricaded village gate. I'll meet you at the forward operating base outside the village when you're done. Watch your ear. Gargle Snot's pet crab has a bell system. No! You monster! Listen here, you were a mere nuisance before, but now you've made this personal. Once I'm through with these muffs, I'm coming after you! <laughs> Serves you, Murph and Rat, you evil Murph sucking whiz card. We needed. What now? Splendid! Reconvene with old Murph and I at the forward camp. The cauldron is prepared. I'll keep the double double toil and bubble bath boiling for you. <laughs> on that mushroom right there will lead to quite the amazing ride which should put you in the optimal position to open the gate for the rest of us now commence to jumping y'all jumping jiminy hot diggity murph it worked <sighs> now get that gate open so we can land an assist <clears throat> are you ready to rock come on man to take back our homes and find my wife, Queen. I almost don't want to kill the rest of you. <laughs> Tell it. Murfetta, darling, where are you? If you can hear me, dear, say something. Don't worry, love. We're a coming. There, that crystal must be the source of the blue rage. And Garble's not using it to turn Murfetta into one of them things. Wife Queen, 
Can you hear me? Say something, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Murph me right in the murfer. This looks all kinds of bad. But I think I know what I got to do. I'm gonna cleanse the crystal. Keep them blue ones off of me. Okay, oh my. Not dead, and the corrupted crystal cleansed. I think we Murphs can finally start rebuilding our lives. It's a real Murph and shame that old Murph won't be around to see it, though. Truffle hunts won't never be the same without him. But you've done us a real kindness this day. There's no way I can thank you enough, but I hope this'll do. <laughs> 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 